Okay, so the first question is about formal charges. So this question is actually they give you the, the resonance structures or Lewis structures, and then they, you need to assign the formal charges. And do you remember the, the formal charge equation? I was just Googling this uh, the website, and somebody wrote this way, and I like this, this uh, handwriting. <laughs> okay, so the formal charge is the number of valence electron minus number of lone pair electron plus bond electron multiplied by half. And the way that I, I said before, this is what I was uh, emphasizing last class. Formal charges is what sh you should have as a neutral atom, and what how many electron do you have, and so that you, you subtract those out, and that, that can give you a good exercise to you. And it's actually, it's not a bad idea for this, for the time being in the class, one of the frequent one is oxygen with three lone pairs and one bond. And this is an example where uh, you can see the oxygen satisfied octet role. That's good. But now, how many they should have, they should, the four more charges here, they should have, oxygen means six, right? And how much they have? How many electrons do they have? You see the six dot, right? And the bond, two electron, half of them is a one electron. Well, you can just simply count one electron from one, one line of the bond. So how many electrons do you have? Seven, right? So that's a minus one, right? So it's always, this is a really frequent uh, subunit uh, formal charges question that's surrounding it. And the other one, Another oxygen. So let's say this, these two lone pairs are actually donated to the, your neighbors and form the double bond, and you're, you're having this kind of Lewis structure component. What's the former charges now? Once again, six is as an uh, oxygens. How many do they have? You got four lone pairs, two bonds, right? So they are four your former charges is zero. So this is a neutral, whereas a, the, the one on the top, this is a negative component, this is a neutral. Okay. So this, is a, this is a one frequent one. Uh, also, I wanna put this one, what about the nitrogen? If I draw the nitrogen this way, does it satisfy the octet rule? That component. <laughs> Eight, eight electrons. Okay, so now let's do the FC or one more time. They should have five. You see two electrons, and you see three bonds. So this is neutral, right? And if you see nitrogen with, let's say, four bonds, and then what do you see? For this, FC is five minus, I guess a non plus four plus one. So this one is has needs to develop the positive formal charges because you should have five, but you feel like having only four, so you are in short of one electron, <coughs> so negative, negative, negative is a plus, right? So that, that's how the formal charges can count. One last one is the halogen, like a chlorine with this. This is a very frequent fluorine, Bromine, with. so I'm drawing the sort of the segments of, of a Lewis structures, and this is a halogen with a, just a single bond, and that's a case you can you can calculate. Their formal charge is all zero. Okay, so they should have seven. They feel like having seven, and so seven minus seven is zero. Let's let's do this one one by one. Okay, so here, what's the former charges of this? Chlorine is seven, okay, that's your reference point. They have, you see the count the number of dots? Minus count the number of bond. So this is a zero. What about this? Hmm? This is a very frequent, I told you before, right? You see that? 
can I cannot make you much bigger than that. This is a maximum. So when you see this, that's a negative sum. Therefore, this one is minus four minus one. Right? What about here? This one also shown up. This is zero, right? And so you you guys can do the same thing here. Okay, nitrogen is five. They should have. They only have four bonds. Five minus four is one. You guys can do that. And there is another way that I can do, which is a, you can always double check if this is always good. So overall, this molecule is supposed to be zero, right? It says that it's a neutral. So therefore, this one should be compensating the negative formal charges, right? So therefore, without actually calculating anything, I can easily say that that's a sort of my final. And anything that is left over is an easy, easy one to get, but always trying to come up with this, this scheme. Formal charges should minus has, and then you, you guys can. Let's do this one more time. So get the easy one. This is a negative. This is a zero. Zero and zero. Right? Those are the fluorine. Fluorine is, set, once again, seven. Do you see the seven here? Six and the one from the bond. So seven minus seven is zero. <coughs> Same for everyone. And so therefore, I'm going to use the purple now. What's the overall charges here? This is always double check. It's, yeah, it's a, it's a zero. So therefore, the one in the middle must be plus. So that's the one way to do. The other way is, okay, so let's, let's do the, this, Four more charges. You should have five. How many electrons they have? They have. It has four. So plus one. So the, it matches. Okay. So the, those two methods should, should give you the right thing. Okay. One more. Once more. So always, I guess the, the one in the outside is easier. So this one. What's the four more charges? Negative one. Okay. Minus. How about here? Negative one, right? This one, zero and zero. And then what do you, what do you, what did I tell you about the backdoor way? It is zero, right? So therefore the one in the middle must be two plus. Okay, so that's the, and this, this resonance structure is actually not so good. But if you do this one, uh, the, the following the equation, four more charges. This one should have six, they only have four. Six minus four is plus two, and there's plus two. There are two different ways to do it. Oh, okay, this, this is it. It's only three. Uh, it's only three problems. One, one last comment that is actually recurring once more if I had this, and this is a, you need to make a, another consideration here. So let's say, this is, you assign the, all the former charges. So as far as an octet rule is concerned, they are good. But as far as a local charge distribution, this is two electron deficient, this is two electron rich, right? Okay. So, oh, can you donate one more electron <coughs> Once, once I have this two electron donated forming an extra bonding, this becomes zero, and this will be one plus, right? But you, you, this lone pair is kind of can be forming to a share. So what I'm saying is, if I have this, if I have these two donating, if I have these two donating it, I'm, I'm writing this new structure looks like this. What's the former charges of oxygen here? Zero, right? And then you know, fluorine stays the same. So what about this? No, no atom has a former charges. This Lewis structure is good, okay? Not, not poor country, not, not rich country, everyone is happy, okay? But at the expenses of what? You have to pay the pay. Yeah, octet rule. So you violate the octet rule because one, two, three, four, five, six. Am I right? Yeah. 
six, 12 electrons. I only need eight, but they are forcing me to have a 12 electron. And you have to look for the sulfur, which is uh, not in the second row. So they can violate, violate the octet row. We call have an extended octet row. So this is OK. So to me, this is a better, better resonance structure. Okay? This is uh, extended. Any questions? Can we move on to the second one?